Now on BBC Two, we begin a new weekly series called Movie Drome. Cox and welcome to the movie drone, a season of cult films. What is a cult film? A cult film is one which has a passionate following but does not appeal to everybody. James Bond movies are not cult films, but chainsaw movies are. Just because a movie is a cult movie does not automatically guarantee quality. Some cult movies are very bad, others are very, very good. Some make an awful lot of money at the box office, others make no money at all. Some are considered quality films, others are exploitation. One thing they do have in common is that they're all genre films. That's to say a French word meaning the type or category of film in question, for example, gangster films or westerns. Cult films also have a tendency to slosh over from one genre into another so that a science fiction film might become a detective movie or vice versa. They're also generally cheaply made. Most of the films in this season cost under two million dollars. Some of them cost a great deal less. They share common themes as well. Themes which I would suggest are the common themes of all drama. Love, murder, and greed. Murder and greed predominate in this season. Tonight's film is called The Wicker Man. It was written by Anthony Schaffer, who's the author of Sleuth. Cinefantastique magazine called it, rather optimistically, the Citizen Kane of horror films. It was directed by Robin Hardy, a British director who formerly specialized in television commercials. It has a cult reputation, although most of the people who rate it very highly as a cult, as far as I'm aware, haven't seen it, at least not in its original version. It was originally 102 minutes long, but the owner of the film decided that it would be much better if they cut 15 minutes out and put it on the second half of a double bill. This was back in the days when, when you went to the pictures you used to get two films for the price of one. So they cut it down to 87 minutes and in 1973 released it on a double bill with Don't Look Now. As the years went by and the film's cult reputation grew, attempts were made to restore the missing portions. But attempts to find the original negative were frustrated. Apparently the negative ended up in the pylons that support the M4 motorway. The version that we're going to show tonight contains a number of the original scenes that were thought to have been lost. However, there's one principal scene still missing. It's an early sequence in which Edward Woodward who plays a Scottish police officer, is introduced and we're told he's engaged to be married and he has not yet known a woman. So bear that in mind as you enjoy the pagan delights of the Wicker Man, which include Lindsay Kemp, the mime artist, Christopher Lee, without his cape, and Britt Eklund, dubbed in Scottish. 